Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris Newbie Tutorial Series for version 2.72 .2 of the game. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 25. I believe at the beginning of the last episode I incorrectly said it was episode 23. It's the year 2450. We have exactly 50 years to go to the victory conditions. We're in the middle of a war with a machine uprising for one of the people in our federation and we're just trying to... Trying to get them contained, get it under control. So, you know, ships moving around, doing their thing. And while ships are moving around, we're going to take a look at some of our planets. Shashimur. So these now, planet clone vats and robots. That's what all these planets need is robots, clone vats, and an upgrade actually. Should upgrade that. Let's just go back to this one and hit that. You gotta be able to upgrade that capital building to get some of the better buildings in there. Some of the more advanced buildings. And we have blockers that we can clear for them. Um, uh, this doesn't have any blockers, which is good, so we can add more jobs like that this does have blockers and this was a we're making this a generator planet so we're going to go in here clear their blockers because we certainly have the money to do it at this stage of the game the emerald mausoleum I said hey let's go in here and civilian industries and refinery goods are really the things that just take uh long time to up uh, given the housing situation here what I'll probably do is replace one of these with a the city that way I can do this it's the it's one of the biggest things we have to deal with and on the ring worlds ring world AA says hey I'm an unemployed specialist so I'm trying to continue to put refineries. You can see that we're short behind on gases and crystals as always. Crystals are the overused thing. The game the game isn't balanced very well as far as what it uses for refinery stuff, so you see a lot of overuse of crystals. Let's go back down here and see what's going on down here. This is good. Um they have people headed up here, but we might be able to beat them to the punch. Landing armies. Oh, land our armies over here. Then he's going to land armies right there. Research concluded. The uh, Federation next Federation level is unlocked, which is going to be fantastic. So, you guys go down here. You guys come with them. We'll all meet down there. Uh, in fact, why don't you go try to... Oh, no, we all got to go through there because of the faster than light inhibitor. So let's do that first. Uh, so Federation level has been unlocked, and that means we can change it to high. And everybody says, yes, we'd like to do this. So we don't even have to spend any of our uh, vote for Federation law. The diplomatic proposal will be automatically declined. So what is on the Senate floor? We are the Senate now. Moderate military sanctions. We voted on pretty much everything that's been put up. Repeal, comfort the fallen. What is comfort the fallen? Let's see. Comfort the fallen. This is diplomatic weight from tech. Minus 20. Oh, yes. We want to repeal, comfort the fallen. Repeal, comfort the fallen. Yes. Support that. Senate floor is there. We got that taken. We are the Senate now. We're the only ones. <laughs> we managed to get it reduced to one. So it's pretty awesome. I want to take a look at some of the other Senate laws, in fact. Um, so what is this? The vote for United to change to High Federation succeeded, which is great. So we can go in here now and we can say Golden Rule. And if we want this to pass, we have to do a little bit of work with our favors to get it to pass. 
and we'll see how that comes out. And it says it passed to change to the golden rule. So now when it comes to secession, we should be the ones to do it. Um, and then strongest we need, let's see. The president will choose from the most powerful empire depending on which succession power is chosen. The secession power laws become available when this law is active. So cannot change federation secession type while at war. That's the, that's the thing. Okay. Uh, what are you guys doing? Why don't you come down here? Where's all of our fleets? What are they all doing? Let's find out. Where are you guys? You're right there. Okay. Research concluded. Come over here. We're going to have you jump. Weapon damage. End game crisis should be happening soon. What else do we have? We have second fleet. Where are you at? You're way up there. We don't need you up there. We need you down here. Second fleet, third fleet, fourth fleet, fifth fleet. We'll probably need another fleet. Let's see. What is what is this? Oh, that station there. I don't care about that. What if we downgrade that? Can we just lose that system? Because I don't really want it. I don't want to have a little tiny system out here all by itself. I'd much happier if the Glostrahini or the Mirren took it over. I don't want to deal with it. Meanwhile, we need to buy some more of these. Let's go. Consumer goods. We stopped to buy 600. That's amazing. Okay, how are you guys doing? Is this... This isn't done yet, is it? Is there an R... Is there a war going on over here? No. I thought those guys were had sent troops over there to go get that. Yeah, and now they're showing up with troops. It's like, who's going to get there? For, where are you guys sending your troops? I'm over here doing all the hard work. I'm going to get some troops over there. I have troops, but they're not done yet. There's one of these is going to be 12 and another one that's going to be 10. So when they're done, these guys are sending troops over here, so we might not even need them. These two spots could be hard to get to. So. Planetary incursion initiative successful. And that gets rid of that, which is great. So they can come over here and they can get rid of this. Admiral will gain the trait. Excellent. Let's take a look at our edicts and make sure things are still on that we need. A grand fleet, naval capacity, ship upkeep. We could turn that on. And take some, a little less of that. Monthly minerals, we could turn on. Uh, desperate measures, that's for home territory, which is not a big deal. And scientific resolution, that's always a nice one to turn on. I don't have anything turned on for these, and I probably should. So let's go. Ammunition, explosives, reactive armor, crystalline sensors, focusing crystals. Those are all ready to go. Colony lost in the Wenkwart system. That's this one up here. I'm not concerned with that. It's this thing down here that I'm more worried about. I don't really want this, but it looks like we're going to end up keeping it. So if we do, we'll have to build a gateway there. Got to be able to protect our territory. Or we could just try giving it away to somebody. You guys are on your way. Let's while you're doing that. Let's scroll back up here and check things out. Hab W says I've got Research concluded. no more room to grow. This one says I bureaucracy. All the bureaucracy. Um it needs a galactic stock exchange. Use a few more jobs. <laughs> kinetic weapon damage. Kinetic weapon attack speed. All very nice stuff. Ozone X says, I have no more jobs. What are you doing with me over here? Well, let's just give you all these jobs then. Build. 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 You're going to need more cities than that. The ring worlds. What are we short? Still gases and gases and crystals. That's the thing.
So we just stack them on here. Because otherwise you watch all of your energy credits just disappear in the cost of buying those resources. And that is not something I want to do. So. It's not the way I want to play it. Planetary incursion initiative success. Great. Okay, you guys already, except for you. Let's move you in here, and you with him, and you can move over here too, and you can jump directly to here. No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Just jump. Just jump. There you go, like that. That works. And what are you guys doing? Colony lost, and that's fine. It's not our colony. It belongs to someone else. Admin capacity. Food from jobs. Admin capacity probably still the most important thing. Considering, let's take a look at our status of this. The 43 months left remaining, and they're going to be fully integrated, and that is going to be a big change so we have to be prepared for that this planet still de these are all still declining except for that one right there so ministry of production Galactic Stock Exchange, except they don't have, <coughs> excuse me, they don't have any commercial zones on it, so I don't necessarily have to put a Galactic Stock Exchange on there yet. Um, I do probably need to start another ring world over here. Gangsters on Bivum. Ooh. I've been waiting for this guy to do this. He says, hey, come in here. Ring world site. Start building. The third ring world over there. Okay, everybody over here. We've got the juggernaut. He can... What do we got left in this system? Is it... Is it over? It is. Come, come over here. And we're making progress. So let's go back down here and biv him, eh? Down here, transport fleet 9 and 10. These are almost done. I can go to them and I can take a look. Titan, it says, still recruiting three armies. And over here at Untran, Uthan, they're recruiting one more gene army. In fact, uh, let's make them even. Let's make them 12 Another each. Day. So that way it's even with uh, these guys. They'll both be the same. I like same. Don't you? Same, same? You guys and your machine uprisings. If you just give your machine pops... If you would just give them civilian status, if you just go in here and say, Hey, I want to make you... I don't want you to be slaves. Then they wouldn't do this to you. Uh, can we adjust your template there? Yeah, we can get rid of that. What is this? Robust. There's another one in here I like, though. What is it? Isn't there a different one? Oh, this one. Fertile is pretty cool. Nerve staple note. Habitability resources from jobs and leader lifespan plus 50 years. That's nice for them. Amenities from jobs. Governing ethics attraction. Let's see. Pop growth from immigration. I got two picks and I got six points. So this is cost. Researcher output plus one. Let's choose the head. I don't know if they're gonna, how many of them are going to end up as researchers, but. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Where's, what do they have here? 
Pop girl speed. Food from jobs. Leader lover. I don't care about food from jobs. Where's the one that I really like? Empire Sprawl from Pops. That's what I need. Pop consumer. A good upkeep. I can pick something that takes two traits, though. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that takes two that I really want to grab. Cost two. Habitability plus 10%. You need from jobs, society research, trade value from jobs. Let's just do that. Let's do that and let's apply that template to all of you guys. Get your negative Situation people out of there. Updated. Takes a whole month. Wow. That's not Colony Lost, and that's fine. Genetic improvement project concluded. Okay. You gentlemen, I think the best thing for you to do is go down here and take these. Weapon damage. We're getting. We're almost there. They're almost done. You folk here. How many of you need repairs or new ships? Talk to the juggernaut. Repair new ships. You guys have all done really good at staying healthy, so that's nice. We'll move you all home soon. Moving them homeward bound. That would be good. Thing D. Says, hey, I got all this space. What do you want to put on here? Well, everybody gets a stronghold, and everybody gets commercial zone, and then we can just go secondary resources, refineries. The crystals are the things we need the most, and then gases. What are we doing here? Look, our research is up to 19k now. That's nice. That's applicable and appropriate. This is a uh, this could be a huge, huge, huge trade world if we just want to put a bunch of trade on it. Which I might do. Commercial zones. Artisan jobs. Okay, so let's do one of those and let's go up here and look at other things. That's what those need to be. On the world. Ring A says, hey, I've got four people here. We need job specialists. Well, you're just going to have to move them around somewhere else. And a lot of our worlds are... Oh, what is this? Mangs. Oh, you got unemployed. Well, you're just going to have to move them. Um, that's what greater than ourselves is for. Let's check this out. I did want to look at... Resolutions. So, greater than ourselves is the next thing. What's behind this? Basic assistance, stratified economy, decent conditions, and academic privilege of ban. Yeah, we don't want to go there. And universal prosperity mandate. All living standards other than shared burdens, utopia, chemical bliss, or mandatory pampering or banned. <laughs> That's not happening. So we don't have to worry about proposing any of that stuff. Okay, how are you guys all doing? Everybody's already no orders, aggressive stance. None of you have a home base. Where, which system is... It's Cowrie. Everybody needs to be in the Cowrie system. Because Cowrie has the... Cowrie has the big old shipyard. It's got our mega shipyard, so that's where we want people to go is Cowrie. When we say go home. So everybody go home. Everybody go home and we'll send you there as well, mister. You can go there because that's got a gateway and a wormhole, so you guys have multiple paths to get over there pretty quickly. I have to find my. What are you guys doing? You're moving away. What are you doing? Oh, you're going that way. I should have just brought you over here and jumped. Oh, well. That would be. There's only two spots left, so. This war is on its way to being over there. These are the Nexus assimilators, and they're down to two planets, so it's almost over for them. Energy weapon attack speed is lagging behind here. Well, in that case, we can spring for a few more of those. And we're 
hemorrhaging those crystals. Yeah, buying that stuff is costing me, so. And also, it looks like we're going to have to keep this planet over here. So what is this? Mardom. Okay, well, it clearly needs to be minerals. It's got a bunch of them. Minerals, consumer goods probably. That's the thing we're really getting killed with, so. Uh, relic activation. It's got a mining world. <coughs> Decisions. Let's put the, the clone vats on there. And then start putting civilian industries on there. We'll get a constructor over there. And we can tell him he can't do it yet, so we'll just move him. I need 300. Do I need 300 influencers or 200? It's somewhere around there. Because it's what? Let's take a look to build a gateway construction site. Oh, it's only 100. In that case, build it. Okay, go do that. <laughs> you guys and your robot uprisings. Goodness gracious. And way up Another here, in this system, say, hey, let's hangar bay that just to be careful. Resources, hydroponics. Uh, I don't think there's anything else on here that we really need. Admin capacity. Kinetic weapon damage. Okay. So now we just kind of have to get things built up here. End of the next assimilators. Excellent. That makes me happy. Okay. So you, my friends, can move back here, over here with the main fleet. Head back. And that's it. The next are done. So really... Now we're just hanging out for... Look at that. That's really nice. And the Thet Clack Collective, they don't like us and that's just too bad because that's just the way it's going to be. We're going to integrate them after a time. But right now the next big event on our list is this. 27 months away, the subject integration is going to happen. So if I want to get things ready for that, I have to really focus on my worlds here. So let's start from the top. And just take a look. Everything should be done. These should all be done. I don't need to raise that up and waste a crystal on it. The EQ Monopolis, I would be trading. These provide 24 houses and these provide 10. I can still provide a few more jobs here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replace this with a foundry I call it. Hidden Worlds. A crew clearing the jungle on Shashamar has made a breathtaking discovery deep within the forest overgrown and obscured by the lush plant life is a colossal alien space station architecturally stunning and built with technology far superior to our own it is a true work of art the station appears to have crashed to the surface surviving the impact thanks to its unusual shielding capacities which our scientists are now eager to examine regrettably an archaeological excavation would prevent us from working the land and cells completion we will excavate this site so that's in the Shashamar system up here and to do that, we need a research person, a scientist. So let's see. This person is assisting research. This person has an archaeology dig speed. So we're going to grab them because they would be the most appropriate person to do that. Then I'm going to go up here with the game paused real quick and run through my worlds. This world is fine. It just needs to move one of its people. Actually, yeah, because of the food situation. Why don't we take these? And replace them with cities and that will provide some more clerk jobs um, this world is fine exactly the way it is it's a little short on housing but that's okay but being a little short on housing is fine 
causes your it causes immigration push to happen immigration push so you can see right here growth progress base growth genome mapping from emigration minus two that means um, it's reducing the speed with which people grow on here and somewhere else in the galaxy on one of our planets that is seen in immigration bonus because of this that's it works in concert so we'll upgrade that this world is good this habitat is good habitat is good you can provide two more jobs here see when you have greater than ourselves available when they run out of jobs what happens is since there's no jobs here every time a population grows it goes somewhere else out in the galaxy so it doesn't it doesn't stay on this planet and that means it doesn't start unlocking the rest of these slots so you have to upgrade your buildings to make that happen so that they'll stay here and take these jobs and push these numbers up and unlock the rest of the building slots hab c done trappist done done all done these look very nice very nice little worlds relic worlds all done this this has 21 jobs and not enough housing so the thing to do here would be like to replace this with luxury residences and same thing with this upgrade these and they'll provide them enough housing so, and then with these upgrades will be some extra jobs Hab AA needs a couple more jobs because you can upgrade that. Zimpox says, hey, I can't unlock the 74th slot because there's no more jobs. That's why. And so to do that, you have to go in here and raise these all up. This is going to create a lot of jobs. But we're going to create some housing for them too with these city districts. Protus says, all I can do is upgrade that and that will provide like one extra job on that planet. Vite can provide two more jobs with an upgrade there. These habitats are still declining, so I'm not going to touch them. These, however, happy to do that for. They're going to need more. Uh, so what I'm going to do is replace this with an agricultural district and then cities so that these guys have enough room to grow. We don't need these there. Bivham says uh, it's got some trade pilfering and mob rule so we can do a couple things uh, I'm gonna add luxuries to force immigration we could declare martial law but I'm not gonna do that I think the easiest thing to do here is uh, just give these people jobs so that they have something to do so I don't want these minerals we're gonna replace those with agricultural districts I'm gonna focus on one thing here you know put the food processing facilities down it has everything else that I generally want on a planet research concluded so more civilian industries we're gonna upgrade all these things Let's come take a look at that planet in a little bit Tersonia all I can do is upgrade for one more job so we need it's greater than ourselves is gonna be sending people to here because there are available jobs there. The ring worlds are our biggest boosters when it comes to this stuff. And then Kirim is our new world. Where is this at? Oh no, it's uh, no, it's not. It's new. It's this one. It's been there for a while. We can upgrade this. They don't have any more jobs. So what I'm going to do here is take this and replace it with luxury residence so there's a little bit less of a strain here on the housing part of it and also they have one more slot for a city ozone x these guys they just need all this stuff upgraded and of course that puts us in a huge debts up here but that's what you got to do when we just have to take those and put them elsewhere um lots of cities here Lots, lots and lots and lots. Same thing here. And since the, the cities weren't done, there were no clerk jobs, so there's no amenities. That'll get that'll get done. This habitat basically done. This one. These provide two more housing and two more job each when you upgrade those. Gives we can we can build a lot more fleets. I just want to make sure that we have the money to do it. 
as time goes by here. Jobs here, that's why this hasn't grown because there's no jobs, so it can't grow into these slots here. Um, you're going to be able to fill everything here and still have plenty of room for cities on that planet, so that's nice. This world has no more jobs, so we've got to give it some clerk jobs so that we can punch out these last few slots here. Shashamar. Okay, the thing we're really, really short on is, besides secondary resources, is civilian industries. And with the... With our... Uh, vassals coming to fruition soon, we want to be taking care of that, so... All right, these guys, Toxic Kelp. Let's do the same thing here. Let's just do Civilian Industries. This is gonna be Energy and Civilian Industries. Research concluded. This is gonna be Food and Civilian Industries. Let's see, Research concluded. Research, Admin Capacity. And this one is going to be Food, and we'll do the same thing here. Food and civilian industries. Okay. And then let's check our edicts and make sure everything that I need is still on here. Yep. Because that'll help this guy down here. He's building a ring world. It's 91% done. So we can come up here and we can look at this and say, wow, we have all these fleets. We can actually build a few more. Because. <laughs> One thing you can do is start selling these automatically. Add a new monthly trade and start selling. We have tons of these. So, and that would certainly, uh, it's going to drive the price down, but it would, it's going to, you can see it already helps up there with that. So, and, it, and then we'll just automatically sell some on the market and chunk there. Sell a few more. I love it when you get to the point where you don't need really to buy alloys and alloys and you don't need more alloys and this is again this is uh these guys don't have a lot of amenities now because we took the city districts away and there aren't as many clerk jobs so what I'm going to do is give them a whole theater instead of robots uh, right there and that will help because they don't have enough clerk jobs for all the amenities that everybody uses. But we could still, with 22 housing, you can, you can actually switch another one of these cities over to another one of those. So we'll save that later. We are making history. The Ring World construction site is ready to go. So we plop down in here and we say, hey, we got plenty. So build that. Those habitats. We're just waiting for them to get done purging people. Because <laughs> when they're done purging, then we'll... Then we'll uh, be able to accurately build on those. In World A says, I'm completely done. Move some of my people. <laughs> that is, And it's cranking out a lot of research. So now we're at 20k research. Ring D. Research concluded. These people have some crime going on. So we're going to give them a precinct house. Same thing here. Precinct house. Helps take away... We need research institutes on all these research worlds. That's the thing. It adds 15% to that. And when they're producing so much research, you want to make sure that's on there. There's one on that one. Wing B is commercial. It needs more jobs, of course. Um, we'll replace that with... Civilian industries. So let's upgrade some of these so it can provide more jobs. And more research. Energy weapon. Attack speed is catching up. Good. It's ring DD. Commercial ring. It's got lots, plenty of jobs. Lots of people are going to be shuffled over to there. As time goes on. This research ring world. Does it have the research thing on it? The big chunk, and it doesn't. So what we're gonna do is 
Replace the clone vats with it. We want this research, this institute on there. And on this research world, does it have it on there? And it does not. So we will replace the clone vats with the research institute. And then Gander at our galaxy. So vassals, how are we coming with vassals? I said what year twenty four fifty five. I thought it was when it was going to be close. It is yeah twelve months twenty four fifty six in April, and they'll be integrated. You all get to see that. That's a that's quite the event when it happens. The game is really going to lag hard, <laughs> like super hard. It really gets hammered. Gateway construction site ready down here in this one little tiny thing that we have. So let's do that. Mardum, you're going to need more jobs. Let's take these and replace them with mining districts. Oh, it won't let you do that after you've started to build those. That's alright. <clears throat> this agri world says, I don't have very many jobs left. So, in order to get um, these other slots unlocked, we're going to have to provide a lot of jobs, which means commercial zones that we can upgrade. This, records aboard the station reveal that the former inhabitants were deeply religious and had no contact with the outside world, which they feared and despised. Every aspect of their lives was governed by an omniscient oracle that scried their destinies at birth. Divine will decide everything from their choice of partner and occupation to the minutia of their daily lives, leaving them with little individual freedom. Most were afraid to diverge from their destined paths as all who did perished under mysterious circumstances. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Real mysterious, I'm sure. Okay, over here. Let's give you crystals. They're the things we're hurting for the most. Hab X. Uh, crystals. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be putting some crystals down. Research concluded. All the research, it's just so awesome. Okay, where's the army damage? Yeah, that's the thing I want. Kinetic. Oh, I don't have a kinetic one this turn? Well, in that case, we go for explosive weapons. Attack speed and attack damage. Shipyards, let's see our fleets. So we could probably start building yet another fleet. at any time here. Oh, let's see. Did the edict just go off? Nope, build power still on. We're just not earning as much because we're spending. Yeah, subject integration is costing us, that's right. So. That's that situation. Transport fleets are ready to go. We have lots of transport fleets. This world, oh yeah, so much here. Okay, let's just do, what are we looking for? Yeah, cr crystals are the thing we're shortest on the most. Because we just went in there and willy-nilly upgraded, upgraded everything. <laughs> this habitat, almost, almost ready to start building on there. It's got to finish purging. Quite the empire, though, that we have. We can go up here at any point in time. We can see things about our empire. We can look at our sprawl, and this gives you a really good idea of what's what you have a uh, hundred and seven systems 53 colonies now so at 53 colonies 20k research the Rixie zealots mean nothing to us the neat thing is you can look at our fleets now you can see their fleets that their biggest fleet was 220 it's right there 212 456 but our fleets now are 212 133 192 198 so thanks to all the Research repeatable tech uh, we've got some really strong fleets now that are basically as strong as the strongest fallen empire fleet which means when the end game crisis decides to come down on us we should be in really good condition. We're five months away from subject to integration. This is going to be just trippy. Chachunk, the sovereign Lechak's domains will go away and it will just become nomad hegemony land. So, 
I call it I call it land, but there's systems. We all know that. We all understand what I'm talking about here. Yeah, you guys are oh rare crystals, wow. It's just there's so many. Oh, it's funny. So much use. Research concluded. Well, I don't need to be buying that. Why am I buying that? Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm buying that. No idea why I was buying this row. I've been buying that for a long time. Don't need to. <laughs> no. Not uh, anything we need to do there. We have a lot of Zoho. We have 4.3k and I still, I still to this day really don't understand what it's for. <laughs> Okay, this is these numbers are starting to come up, which is good. So that means we can buy less of those. I'm happy about that. That's what I want to see. As those numbers come up, I want to buy a lot less of that. I also want to buy a lot less of all this other stuff, but... Because we're going to have to... Well, I'm going to leave this the way it is for right now. We're going to be fine. We're going to have to work it hard once this integrates anyway, so... So where we're at with that, six, five months now, five months, so 24.56.03, five more months, that means uh, by July it should be ready to go. It's going to be a heck of a situation. One heck of a situation. Ring CC says, hey, the thing I'm missing the most is synthetic crystal plants. And I hear you. Ring D, synthetic crystal plants. You know it, buddy. Tersonia is done. So it needs to take its, its person here <laughs> and move them to somewhere else where there's a job. The problem is there aren't a lot of specialist jobs now, but there's going to be a couple more. Soon this is good. So we do this. <clears throat> and what's going on in the Senate? This is what? To Yankee Conservation Act. Any empire that kills a Italian Yankee will be in breach of galactic law. I'm going to oppose it. <laughs> Let's see how just because I can. <laughs> I could veto it. I'm not concerned about doing that. Uh, at 300, we're going to start another ring world. So we're going to start you right there. So just move over there. Got a ring world being built here. Ring world construction site. Got to have these because these provide the jobs for your pops. Otherwise, you end up with a lot of unemployment. And that really stinks. And destined for defiance, the archaeological team has made an unexpected discovery. Embedded within the station walls is a hidden surveillance system that seems to have been feeding visual and auditory information to a single point somewhere within the station's core. Someone was monitoring the disciples at all times, even in their most private moments. In some places, the equipment had been torn out or sabotaged. Closer to the central hub are signs of violence and disruption. It seems as though at some point the inhabitants discovered they were being monitored. Yeah, they did. And they're not happy about it either. And I can't blame them. Big Brother is watching. And to that I say, screw you, Big Brother. Okay, so this is good. We're getting to do this when some of these jobs get filled. Housing for it. These worlds just look so good being complete like that. It's nice. You guys, you're like, give us more. I know. Yeah. The, the, the drain on refinery resources to continually upgrade buildings is a lot. Um, that's just the way it is. Construction project concluded. 
That's why you got to have money, and that's why you got to have trade, because you got to be able to do that. And what's our trade right now? It's at 9,000. I've had bigger trade numbers before, but everything is 100%, which is nice. You can look at the trade routes and see how they're working, see how much is pouring through them. That's why you need those gateways, so you can get them all there without piracy. Research concluded. Happening, because piracy happening stinks. All right, this should be a, the integration should be about to happen here. Let's take a look at this. Sovereign Lachax, how are we doing? Progress remaining time two months. Okay, so it's going to happen at the end of the year because it, it's lagging behind for some reason. First it said five months and then research concluded. All right, now it really is going to do. It's at 1900 of 1906. Okay. It's about to crack it open, baby. It's, it's just, it's such a huge lag when it happens. Now it's at 1900 of 1906. It'll actually be, yeah, two months. So at the end of November here, at the new year, 2457, the Sovereign Lachak's domains can celebrate by becoming... One with us, fully integrated into our empire. <laughs> Full integration. Got like that. The enigmatic cache is there, that's cool. <clears throat> and here it comes, you can see it, no man hegemony, it's changing. Oh my goodness. This is always really neat to watch. The subject has been successfully integrated into the our empire. We have gained administration control of Schlorp, formerly a holding of Sovereign Lachak domains because we control the Starbase. So yeah, it's going to give us all these messages here about this. So now we have a whole bunch of starports that we... Yeah, Research and now we're completed. way over our starport. <laughs> Faction found a new faction has recently gained traction in the international political landscape of the Nomad hegemony, led by scientist Krishna Potier. They call themselves the Non-Interventionist Committee. I'm actually curious to see what they do. Non-Interventionist Committee. What do they want? Non-Interventionist Committee. Stalwart defense, strong alone, restricted movement, non-aggression pact, peace, isolationist diplomacy. Okay. Well, now these guys are with us, and... At the end of the month, when it does its calculations, a whole bunch of stuff is going to change up here on our top board. So, uh, and we have way more starbase is than we have starbase capacity. So we're going to go through here, and we're going to have to build some gateways uh, to handle the trade. You can also see right off the bat, there's some construction that needs to be done. There's some crystals down here that we can gather that they were not doing. Uh, we, get, we grabbed a hold of all of their fleets and their science ships. So, <laughs> this is going to be quite the deal. And a bunch of our ambitions have just come off. So, we're going to go turn some ambitions on. Will to power, please turn back on. Hearts and minds, it's going to be really important. Architectural Renaissance, yes, for the ring world. I don't care about Fortress Proclamation or Dexper Measures right now. Philosophical mindset, research speed, I don't care about that. And, and so now we're in the hole on money, of course, and even more in the hole on consumer goods. We have a bunch of extra food, though, so we could sell quite a bit of that, which would be good. They've obviously got a lot of food in their system. So we'll sell some more of that. We're going to sell some more of this. We're going to outright sell some here. So, end of the month, let's see what happens. Yeah, so we got some work to do with all these new planets. Uh, let's take a look at the sectors as well. Let's take a look at sectors. Okay, so we don't have any. That's, uh... Let's see who we can do. This person down here is going to have to be their own sector. Because they're not going to be able to reach to anybody else. So at Hower... At the, okay, so first off, your name is incorrect. 
you don't match the system. So, so Rutger, you're there, and look, you got all this stuff that we don't need. Um, we have things that are way, way, way more important, and then your bureaucracy. We're, look, we're, we're we're way under our empire sprawl cap. We were at about 3,800, I think, before this happened. So they have a lot of bureaucracy that we can get rid of, um, and we know what's important. <laughs> we know that consumer goods is really important, and and secondary resources and trade. So. Uh, what we'll do to rearrange some of these worlds. First thing we need is precinct houses. We're going to make this a agri world. So there's a lot of work to do here. This we're going to replace with a city district. These we're going to replace with civilian industries. So that's going to be the most important thing. Uh, I don't care about this. What is this? It's a hydroponics farm. I don't care about that. So let's replace it with a food processing facility. Let's replace this with more with, with commercial zones. Let's replace the gene clinics with civilian industries. They got robots, and that's cool. So we'll go down here and we'll add more civilian industries, and then we'll give them a ministry of production. All right, that's one planet mm -hmm. in that system. Now there are multiple planets here. Oglog is a habitation and we're going to call it Hower Hab 1, Hower Hab, Hab A. Uh, gene clinics on there is a really bad idea. So let's just go for synthetic crystal plants and commercial zones. And we'll make it a trade station and we'll do this. Okay. Bliggity Blop says that's its name, and I'm going to go for How or Hab B. How or Hab B, and these are not things we want to have on here. So, commercial zones. Let's do this. Commercial zones, trade station. And what else is in this system? Anything? Okay, so that system is taken care of by itself, and we can see it's a. Sectors map mode. Oh, we haven't given it a sector. That's why you check those things. Sector. And we could say, listen, anybody that fights crime is high on my list. But we don't have that. Engineering research from jobs. Those are nice. Facility research from jobs. Mining and minerals. Okay, you can have that. And in fact, how are... Do I have a crime fighter? Yes. We're going to switch that out. We're going to switch that out. Look at all those sectors. So, we're going to find the sector that, yep, this sector right here. You can have this new person. All right. On Emerald Mausoleum. And we can tell you upgrade that. Okay. So now we can see that sector. And it's up there. And that's as far as it goes. So, over here, this, this doesn't touch this guy up here so what we're gonna do is I think one two three four we can get it with this so let's find the planet in here glarp okay I'm gonna change the name of the system to glarp I like that glarp you get the sector we're gonna give you somebody if I have another crime fighter I have a do I have another crime fighter anywhere I got the one in the Hauer sector and nobody else. Okay, let's recruit. Uh, we're not going to find anybody, are we? Clear blocker cost and leader upkeep cost. We'll go for that guy then. That's the best we can do. Okay. There's a lot to take care of here. And we're going to be doing this all into the next episode. Um, this is Glarp. And we'll do our... This lets me know by naming it mining and commercial goods that I've touched this planet. I want it to be a mining world. I want it to switch out some stuff. First thing on all of these new planets is going to be precinct houses. Uh, let's replace these things. Ministry of Production. That'd be great. That's got that on it. It needs a. Oh, it has a precinct house on it. So 
That'll be good. We're going to keep that. We still need to replace this, though. So let's replace it. Oh, there's an alien zoo. Okay, that's good to know. Let's just do that. Let's upgrade this. Let's take this food and replace it with city districts, because we're going to need them. And let's get more civilian industries on them. Save that last slot. This is Schlorp. And I'm going to call it Glorp Hab A. And I don't like any of the things it has built on there. So we're going to fix that. Commercial zones. Make the trade station. Commercial zones. And then crystals. And probably replace one of those with trade. Okay, how many more? There's a bunch up here. This is an actual planet, Glegmus. We're going to call it Glarp 2. It has a bunch of bureaucracy on it, so I kind of don't feel bad about leaving it that way. Let's leave it with bureaucracy, but let's do it uh, a little better. Let's spend its last three slots on... This is, I did things a little bit differently this time in this game. One one rule I've always had is always save the last three slots on a planet for one crystal, one gas, and one moat. And I didn't do that this playthrough. And it's really hammering me. So I think that's going to be my new rule, which is capital in the first slot, robots, clone vats, commercial zones, and then eight of these whatever your main thing is and it or like seven and the bonus 15 percent research thing and then down here uh either an autochthon monument or a fortress in this last slot and save the last three for the refinery objects and i think if you do that you end up with a better situation um this is going to be as far as refiners go so that would be my only suggestion to newbies who managed to make it this far is is to do that Uh, and so this is going to get replaced by bureaucracy. And then this is going to get replaced by bureaucracy. And I think that's a good one to do. And this is Big Uglug. And they're colonizing it. Okay, and I'm going to change it to Glarp. One, two, three. Okay, so they're colonizing that one. Good job, boys. And then we can see the sector map mode there for that. And right away, one of the things I'm going to want to get over there is a construction ship. And I think I'm going to want to grab trade from here, but I'm just going to want to build another another one right there. So what we're going to do is build a gateway right there. Gateway construction site right there. And we'll collect trade from these three things and send it off. Now over here, there's no... And this is the problem. One, two, three, four. Oh, if we make this guy the sector capital, he can get whiter over there too. So if we do this, sector capital. And what do we have here? Engineering research. Yes, that's, let's do that. Okay. So we can go up and see, see the sectors here. And yep, and it grabs whiter, which is good. It's not enough to go over here and get Sao, but that's all right. So. Let's take these planets. This Ral Tree is the name of this. So we're going to rename these. Ral Tree 1. And he's set up for bureaucracy or consumer goods. Well, bureaucracy is the least important thing compared to how short we are for consumer goods. So we're going to go over here and we're going to make this a food world. Agro world. Replace these with civilian industries. Um, the reason it needed to build paradise domes is because it very foolishly didn't build enough cities, so we'll replace those. And, uh, and then we're going to have to let it roll because we're out of minerals and I don't want to spend a bunch of money buying them. We're going to go really slow anyways. It needs to be the end of this episode because it's been an hour. But this is what you have to do now that, now that we've integrated it. We have to go in here and fix everything. And also they have all of these ships. So what you can do with all of these ships is if you hold shift key down 
and grab all these guys. And I don't know how many ships there are, but I'd like to send them all to one place. Um, I want to see how many ships they are. I want to see how many we can get into uh, a single fleet. So they have all their ships scattered like this. So we will do that because the, obviously that stretches out your outliner doing that. And it's just a, it's a complete pain in the butt. We have our fleets all nicely named. So that's what we'll do. We'll give them, they'll become like the sixth fleet and the seventh fleet and all that stuff. And then they have some colony ships doing their things. And that has no orders, it says. So it has no orders. I know what I want to do with it then. I'm going to send it over here to where we were building our, our ring worlds so that they're ready to go. They have colony ships. We don't want them to sit out there doing nothing. So we're going to send them over there. That way they'll be ready to be used there. They have some science ships uh, with no leaders. So we're going to do this and send them out here. There's assist research on our ring worlds and this one has no leader and we'll recruit this one and we'll send him out to ring B ring CC he can't assist research there he can assist research on ring D, D. there we go ring double D so that's where we're at and now what we can do is we can go up to the Thet clack collective and we can say integrate subject at a rate of five influence per month, it'll take us 62 months because their empire is much smaller. So yay. All right, folks. Wow. Big episodes <laughs> in the books. We'll get we'll get this fixed over time. Trust me. <laughs> but look at this. This is how cool is this? Wow. We are we are a fourth of the galaxy and we're definitely going to be a fourth of the galaxy after we integrate all of that over there so pretty cool everyone thank you newbies thanks for watching everybody else who supports the channels and who's watched this far thank you for watching as well this has uh, been quite an adventure I really enjoyed doing this I think this is my best newbie tutorial let's play series that I've ever done um, I'm pretty happy with it so as always give it a thumbs up if you like the episode subscribe to the channel if you haven't already consider supporting my patreon the link is in the description below they also the links to my dedicated tutorial videos for trade planetary management war and ships are linked in the video below as well and if you have a question or comment drop it down below i try to answer as many as i can i'll see you all next time thanks for watching